Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we will going to discuss about Laravel 9. So Laravel is a PHP framework and it's maintaining MVC structure where M for model, V for view and C for controller. So last day we already discussed about the controller and if you don't see that video, the playlist link are provided in the description section. In this video, we will going to discuss about what is view. View separates the application logic and the presentation logic, right? So you can see when we run this application, you can see this page. Actually, these are presenting to the end user, means we can see this page, right? So it's presenting, so it is the presenting layer, and how it's presenting is actually the application logic. So if you say if you just uh, go to the Visual Studio Code and if you check from how from where this page is coming so simply just go to the routes web.php and you can see this is the root url of our application so it's returning actually one view right so this is the welcome view if you just go to the view path so inside the resource inside the views will get the welcome blade.php so this is the view file and from this view actually this page are appearing so simply if i just uh, remove this and write this is view file right and simply just refresh we are getting these things that means the view are coming from welcome.plate.php right so this page are coming from here and it's redirecting from these routes okay so you can understand from the uh, routes directly we can call the views and also if you create any controller and from that controller we can also redirect any view first let's see why the name welcome.blade.php actually laravel using blade templating engine and it's the php file that the reason we are using welcome.blade.php we will discuss about the blading concept uh, in our coming video so for now just see how view are calling and how we can arrange the view right so let's create a view file first so just undo these things and i just uh, i'm not going to modify the original home page we will create accordingly when we need right so first of all let's close this and create our own view files so simply just go to the views file and let's create a file suppose my file name is student dot blade dot php right and let's call this so simply if i just going to add a student broiler template here you can see the student so this is the title of our uh, page and let's use h1 tag and write this is student page okay so how we can see this page right so now if i just go into the routes and let's create a link that is student okay and my blade name is student so simply write student only student we don't need to write dot blade dot php and if you just go here slash student we are getting this is student page that means directly we can call the blades file or view file from the routes now if i just want to send some data to the view file from the routes how we can do this let's create a variable name and let's write john okay uh, john and how we can pass this name into the student blade so we have a function that is compact and using compact just pass the name and we can receive the name from here so simply create another tag like is to tag and here write and or not and my name is the file name uh, sorry the name okay and now if i just refresh this here we can see my name is john so we can pass variable to the view also if you want to pass any array type value we can pass so simply write student array okay or student array anything and here just write array and simply let's pass the details suppose the name 
and name equal to I am writing David and let's pass the email so here write email and you can write david at the rate email dot com and in the same way just add another comma and let's pass your student ad so simply copy this and here pass the student ad and that can be accessible from here also how so simply just write um, inside the ac tag so just write student name is these things that is student array and we are getting the name from name so here simply write name and here just write and email is in this way so simply write dollar student array and write email okay and let's check so here just refresh this student name is david and email is david at the at email .com. so from the routes we can load the view we can pass the variable and we can pass any array type means any kind of things we can pass to the view so let's create a controller and let's see how we can call the controller and how we can load view file from that controller so already we have a controller that is home controller okay let's create another controller so if you are new you can understand how to create a controller also so simply write php artisan make controller and suppose let's create a student controller okay so controller is created now just to register these things into our routes file so let's see where that is created the student controller is created inside the app HTTP controller student controller so these things is just created and this is the namespace of the student controller so just to register into the routes so simply out use app HTTP controllers and the name of the controller is student controller so student controller is registered now if I just want to load this student blade file from the student controller how we can pass this so simply uh, for now I just uh, closing these things and let's create another route so simply write route and let's create a get type method so we will actually hit the url and simply just use the same uh, same url to see the student rich things and just use the student controller class and we need to call the functions from where we can see so just write list okay and just go to the student controller so basically these are calling the methods from student controller so we need to create a methods so write public function list so actually all the things we discussed in our previous video when we discussed about the controller and if you don't understand properly you can see that and actually I am doing all the things uh, inside of you so that you will understand no problems would happen so just write return the view file so simply write view and here just call student okay so it will call the student view and if you just hit that URL you will call these things but here we are using some things which we are not accessing so simply just uh, go here and refresh this we are getting this is student page okay and now the same way if i just pass these things is and we will use these things from the uh, controller it will still work so just pass this using the compact right so just create it uh, inside the routes just uh, do here and if you just refresh this you will get all the things right so this is all about the views and you can understand we can uh, call the view file from routes we can call view from the controller we can pass data from the routes and we can pass data from the controller also right so hope you will like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in your below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about the blading things right so what is blade so we'll discuss about the component blade templates right so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day